Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We've got some exciting news to share with you today. If you find these updates helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let's dive right in. First up, we have some great news for certain families out there. Tomorrow, $550 checks will be going out. Stay tuned to find out if you're one of the lucky recipients. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I want to begin by um, thanking uh, my colleague, Congressman John Larson, for his thoughtful, courageous leadership uh, on this issue, crafting uh, Social Security 2100, which is the only comprehensive paid-for measure which enhances Social Security and averts the 2034 uh, cliff that this country is going to encounter if Congress does not act. As Mr. Larson uh, stated that when this social insurance program was created in 1935, signed into law by Franklin Roosevelt. Um, it, was a, it was created as an insurance program, but Congress over time, in numerous cases, has reformed the bill to protect the basic promise which was made by the Congress and by President Roosevelt to make sure that uh, people who are retired, uh, people who are um, uh, children who've lost a parent, and in recent times, people with disability uh, are protected from the vagaries of life. Um, again, we have re stepped forward and taken care of uh, challenges, fiscal challenges that the bill has encountered, uh, the law has encountered. John's bill, what it would do in, in, in essence is it would extend the solvency of Social Security to 2066. And we would avoid the cliff that we're going to hit in 2035. It would not gouge or cut any benefits. The Republican study group is talking about raising the retirement age. That's a Social Security cut for people who have paid into this program out of payroll year in and year out. It increases the net benefits by 2% on average for all beneficiaries. Uh, it rebases the program so that people will not receive Social Security below and be below the uh, poverty line. It is exactly, in other words, what this country is looking for, uh, for a program that affects every single American, every single family member. Everybody cares about Social Security, and it is our job to just like prior Congresses, when we've been approaching these fiscal challenges, to act. And what we need is for John's bill to be taken up and voted on. We don't need commissions that are going to take this bill behind closed doors with no transparency, which, again, is exactly the opposite of what the people of this country want. They want to see what we're doing because this affects them and all those years of insurance payments that they have put into this program. We need to take up John Larson's bill, Social Security 2100. And again, I implore the leadership of this Congress to move and to act and to, to not go down the path of a non-transparent commission, which is going to shut out the American people. That is not how we fix Social Security. So thank you, Mr. Larson, for your leadership. Let's move forward on Social Security. Next, we're going to talk about universal basic income. It's been a game changer for some of our less fortunate citizens, despite some controversy around its constitutionality. Could this success lead to a larger national guaranteed income program? Imagine $1,200 per month for every American for the next five years. We'll delve into the details shortly. Moving on to Social Security, there's a proposal on the table to eliminate federal taxes on Social Security benefits. But will President Biden support it? We'll discuss why he might not back this latest bill from Congress. Speaking of Congress, we've got a clip to show you. It's all about increasing Social Security benefits for all recipients. After all, Social Security affects every single American and their families. We all care about it, right? But before we get into that, we have some other important updates to share. So, stick around. Now, let's talk about that you earned it, you keep it act. This bill, introduced by Representative Angie Craig, proposes to raise the cap on Social Security payroll tax to $250,000, up from the current $168,000. But why is Biden unlikely to support it? We'll explore that next. Lastly, we'll discuss some promises made by President Biden during his 2020 campaign. Remember the $200 increase for all Social Security recipients? We'll revisit that promise and see where it stands today. Let's talk about a bill introduced by Ilan Omar. This bill proposes to provide everyone with $1,200 per month through local governments over a five-year period. But could this really happen? With the success of other pilot programs providing guaranteed income, could we see a $1,200 per month check? 
To be honest, it's very unlikely. The big question is, where is the money coming from to give everybody $1,200? To put things into perspective, a single stimulus of $1,200 would cost around $100 billion. So, $1,200 per month would amount to a huge sum. It's a question of where that money is coming from. However, there are smaller programs popping up here and there. If there was a better way to fund it, this proposal might gain more traction and maybe even have a vote. But at this point, it's just being reintroduced into Congress with no vote or traction. I just wanted to let you know the truth about this. If you appreciate how I've given you all the facts and kept you informed, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And that's all the news I have for you today. Stay tuned for more updates and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.